Hi, my name's Paula. Hello, I'm Brian. And we have four children with multiple cavernomas. Um, plus, we just recently found out Brian also has multiple cavernomas. So for me, it's like in the family, it's five. And um, we've been on like a journey, really, haven't we, um, as parents? Um, it has been very, very hard. Um, it has been a struggle. Um, you have to fight to find out. Um, even though your kids have like diagnosed with um, multiple cavernovas or cavernovas, um, you don't get all the answers automatically. Um, it's like I said, it's, it's been very, very, very hard. Um, and you know, you think, hey, you know, they've been diagnosed and you've got your answers. But there, I find, um, as a parent, I don't know about you, Brian, um, that there isn't really the answers out there from professionals. So it's from you know meeting with other parents and t getting to talk about their experiences. Um, that is where we've had the biggest information, really, mm. isn't it? Um, There's not enough professional people yeah. out there that know enough about cavernomas to actually help everybody and give you the answers that you need. And you're actually teaching them when you go into hospitals because most of them don't actually know yeah. what a cavernoma is. Also schools. Yeah. Um, it's also another thing, isn't it? Educational. All four of ours have um, learning difficulties. Um, some are worse than others. Um, and they're, they're about two, two to three, maybe four years behind academically. Um, and um, the schools say that they meet their needs, but obviously they don't because they don't understand their condition. Um, and again, not enough is known about it in schools. Um, same as medically, really. Yeah, we've just got one into a special school, Ben, and he has just come on in leaps and bounds. Yeah. And you can really see the difference in having a proper school where he should be to coming out of a mainstream school. Um, and it's made so much difference to him, hasn't it? Yeah. Really um, has. And it tells them their behaviour as well because um, obviously the, uh, the children come home very, very frustrated um, and angry, and they take the anger out on us as parents. Um, each other. Each other. We have been, well, actually, we've been physically attacked, haven't we, from our children? Yep. Um, they will pick up anything and use it as missiles. Um, and that is actually, as, as a parent, that's quite hard. Um, to have to go through, um, you know, admitting that you actually get abused beaten. by your own yeah. children. Yeah, yeah, and that is, you know, a very hard thing to deal with. But it's not their fault, you know. They are still your children. They are, you know, they are lovely children, but they are also very angry and frustrated children. And I don't think there's enough out there um, to help us as parents to help your children understand, because obviously we struggle understanding it. So, um, you know, there needs to be more support groups for the children as well, I think would, would help big time. Um, again, um, just coming down um, with um, the YPC, isn't it, through the Cavanova Alliance, that helps them as well, as it does. Meeting other children with yeah, the same Yeah, with the same problems. condition, because yeah. they're, then they're just normal. They don't feel so isolated. No, they don't, do they? Yeah. And it helps them talk about it. So that again is really, really important. And I think another thing that's important is the schools who have got children with it need to be more educated on it. They need yeah. to educate themselves on it because there is not enough air out there for no. teachers either, is there? No. no. And they're very good at putting it on the parents as parents. Just because problems. they don't understand it, that's why. That is the reason why.